Somebody sees a tired couple in a strange town with nowhere to stay and thinks, this woman's expecting a baby. The baby needs somewhere to be born. I know a place. Okay, it's a stable, but that's better than nothing. If the baby is born tonight, at least there's a manger full of straw for the animals to eat. That can be the baby's cot. Shepherds come to see him and they represent poor, unimportant people everywhere then and now. Nobody is unimportant in this story. In fact, this story tells us that nobody at all is unimportant. Wise men arrive, mysterious figures from exotic, faraway cultures. Traditionally, they were believed to represent the differences that enrich the human family. What brings them together? A newborn baby. And that's the Christmas story, isn't it? A baby born and just lies there, doing what newborn babies do, which isn't very much. But he makes a whole Christmas story happen all around him. Someone gives his parents somewhere to stay, shepherds come to see him, wise men bring him gifts, everybody plays their part. But the most important roles belong to Mary and Joseph, especially Mary. In a way, the Christmas story is the story of Mary, at least as much as it's the story of baby Jesus. In the Bible, it's the story of a young woman who says, yes, okay, to God's plan when the angel visits her. It's Mary who has to sit on a donkey and go on a long bumpy journey. If you look it up on Google, it's 150.6 kilometers and she's pregnant. So it must have been really uncomfortable. It's Mary who has to give birth to her baby, not in her own home or a gleaming hospital, but in a grotty stable with stinky animals and a feeding trough as a cot. And then, Mary and Joseph have to take their newborn infant and flee for their lives because Herod wants to kill the baby Jesus. In other words, Mary and Joseph are pretty poor to begin with. When they come to Bethlehem for Jesus to be born, they are homeless. Then, when they have to leave everything behind and escape, they are refugees. And suddenly, the story becomes pretty real, doesn't it? A story of poverty and homelessness and refugee status. It could be straight off tonight's television news but it's also a story of kindness and love surrounding a helpless baby and its family. It's the story of Mary's resilience and Joseph's too. It tells us that this baby is special, but it also tells us that how special all human beings are. 